Hey guys, Rock here with another World of Warplanes video. This time we're taking a look at a wrecking crew performance. Here we are in Tier 5. I'm in the MiG-3, which is a Tier 5 Soviet fighter. I do like to run mine with the wing, underwing mounted uh, 50 cal, or 12.7 millimeter more specifically, I guess. Uh, it does weigh it down a little more and makes it slightly less maneuverable, but I prefer the extra punch that comes with it. I was uh, flying around last night and was at Tier 7 and just wound up getting paired with uh, the same player on the side and against flights and he just kind of said, yeah, hey, throw me an invite, let's play, and then I wound up picking up a uh, new player who I've uh, been teaching some stuff to. We are all just kind of flying around here, basically just to pick up flight, uh, no voice comms or anything like that. We wind up being Tier 5 in a 3-4-5 match here. And frankly, at this point in the night, we were getting a little tired, make some bad decisions. The play was getting a little sloppy. Notice here where our flight was very spread out. Uh, fortunately, we managed to get away with it. The biggest threats over here are going to be those P-38 Fs. Uh, after that, everything else is going to be pretty low altitude. But they have a lot of altitude and a lot of speed. So we need to deal with them first. Spot the first one. We're going to swoop in and hit us. Try and see if we can take some damage off him. Notice I do not slow down on the throttle there or hit the flaps or anything to try to stay on his tail because I've got somebody on my tail. So I need to make sure I keep my energy up. The MiGs are fun. They're good uh, high altitude dogfighters, but they don't retain energy well in a dive and they don't climb especially well. So you have to be very careful about uh, giving up your altitude too early or unnecessarily but they have very good maneuverability at altitude, so I can dogfight pretty well, especially with those P-38s, as long as they don't have their speed up far enough to get away from me. I can take care of them pretty easily. Here I do actually make kind of a mistake. I really should have dealt with that other P-38 before I dove on a zero like this, because I'm, once again, I don't really climb all that well. So I wound up having to spend a lot of my boost to get back up here and try to help out my flight mate with this other P-38F, which was frankly a bigger threat than that Zero was. But I managed to make it work and dispatch the other P-38F here. Now to get a wrecking crew, it's actually kind of a rare award. You have to, as a flight, you have to be flighted. You have to turn in essentially an ace performance and a thunder performance, and the entire flight has to survive the battle. Uh, between those conditions being kind of hard to meet, either somebody dies or you don't wind up getting enough ground targets before the battle winds up being over, or else uh, also for a long time the award was bugged and you couldn't get it no matter what. It's actually kind of rare. I've only got seven or eight of them myself. I uh, actually wound up being kind of surprised to get one here. At this point in the battle, we're down to a three-on-three, three, but it's, uh, we have a lot more advantage because our three are two fives. So essentially, it's just mop-up duty at this point. I just got to be careful. Don't want to take him head-on, give up any more hit points, but I don't need to. But I can get around on him. I really like the guns on the MiG. It's uh, a good combination of between the wing and the cowling mounted guns. It's got some spread and some good accuracy at range, too. It's a fun plane to fly. We'll finish off this last one. Just two bogeys left. One of them is that FW-57. And we come across him here shortly. Let's see. Now, I have don't have as much firepower as him, so I don't want to take him head on or put myself in a place where he can just pitch right up into me, so that's why I take this approach off to the side. And then my flight mate here finishes him off pretty easily. He actually did not ram. I actually checked afterward. He managed to clean him up with the gun right before he might have rammed otherwise. And there, look at that. We get awarded the wrecking crew. So that was kind of a nice, pleasant surprise there. We were really just kind of flying around playing and you know, wound up getting a rare award without even really realizing it. So, last customer here to finish off this pistol. I really probably should have stuck on that harder. I probably could have taken him in a head-on. But if I don't survive the battle, 
Or actually, I guess if I... We'd already been awarded the Wrecking Crew, probably, I probably still would have gotten the award anyway. But I didn't want to risk dying pointlessly, so... Play with the Bristol here a minute before I decide, okay, enough of this, I'm going to stretch out one way or another and come back. And then my flight mate winds up finishing them off. So between the three of us, we turned in a thunder and killed the entire opposing team. So it was a pretty fun performance. So, thanks for watching, guys. Good hunting. See you next time.